Hello everyone, it's Gina from OrchidandOpal.com and welcome back. Today I have a new earring tutorial and this one is inspired by the contents from the Eureka Crystal Beads Destination Collection. That one has since sold out, but I'll still link to it because you can find all the products that you need individually. You don't have to pick them up in the collection. And of course, they also have all these materials in so many different color combinations. And I've got a bunch of different examples below. The earrings with the black, gold, and green colorway are the ones that I made specifically with the Destination Collection beads but today we'll make one with this light gold colorway that you see in the ceramic dish. And I'll have everything linked and listed right down below the video so you'll know exactly what you need and how much. And the specific colors used in each of these different examples will be listed on the corresponding blog post. Briefly though, you'll need two of the 10 by 14 millimeter octagonal or emerald cut crystals, size 11 Miyuki Delica beads, size 15 round seed beads and three millimeter round beads or anything similar to that size will work. Besides that, of course, some earring findings, some jump rings. I'll be using a size 11 beading needle and I definitely recommend a size 11 or 12 because we'll be making multiple passes through some of these Delica beads. I'll be using my go-to six pound fire line as the beading thread and of course our basic tools like scissors and jewelry pliers. Once you have everything you need gathered up, go ahead and string your beading needle with a comfortable length of thread. My estimate is that it will take about three feet per earring. And then once you've done that, let's jump into this tutorial. Step number one is to pick up 36 of your Delica beads. and string those down and leave yourself about a five inch tail or something that you can weave back in in just a little bit. And double check to make sure you have a total of 36 beads. And then sew back through all 36 of those beads again. Make sure you don't miss any. and then just sew through one additional bead past where you started. Pull that all together and what you have is a loop just like this. And we're going to continue by adding another round of beads to this loop in peyote stitch. So I'm gonna hold on to the tail thread and this loop of beads while I continue. And as usual with our peyote, we'll pick up a bead, skip the next one that we get to and sew directly through the next bead and pull. Now you have one that's sticking out a little bit. Pick up a bead, skip the next one, and go through the next. And do that all the way around this loop.
And as we get back to the beginning, we're going to add in our last bead for this round, sew through our usual bead that we would go through, and then step up through that first bead that's sticking out. So we've got one round onto that first loop, and it looks like this. And at this time, I'm gonna put a needle on this little tail thread and weave it back in and trim off the excess just to get it out of the way for the tutorial. And you're welcome to do that now or wait until later, and then I'll be right back. And now we're gonna add another round of beads in peyote stitch, and we're going to add in some of our 15 O's so you can pull some of those out at this time. And we're gonna go in the following sequence. We're going to pick up a 15 O, sew through the next bead that's sticking out, pick up a second 15 O and go through the next bead that's sticking out. Then pick up a sequence of three delicas. So our first one, another one, and then delica number three. Then we switch back to 15 O's. We're gonna do two of those. One and two. Now we're switching back to delicas and we're gonna do two delicas. One and two. And then we're gonna repeat that one more time to get us around the rest of the piece. So now, once again, two of our 15 O's. Then three of our delicas. Then two more 15 O's. And finally, two of our delicas. And then we'll go through our next bead that's sticking out. Plus, we're gonna step up through that very first 15 O. So we have this now so far. And the reason we added those 15 O's in is because we wanna start getting our bezel closer to that rectangular shape that will match our crystal. So as you pull this tight, it'll start to cinch in at the corners, especially after we get through this next step. And for the next round, we're gonna do another round of peyote. This time we're gonna pick up one 15 O, so through the next 15 O. Then switch back to delicas and we'll sew through the next one that's sticking out. And we'll be doing four of those. And our fourth one, and then we'll go up through the 15 O. And I like to pull this tight as we go. Now we'll pick up another 15 O and sew through the one that's sticking out. And then we're gonna be doing three delicas. And now we're back to the 15 O's. We'll pick one of those up, go through the next one, and then back to Delica's. We're gonna be doing four of these again. And as usual, once you go through the 15 O, which will be at a corner, that tells you you need to pick up another 15 O and go through the next. And keep pulling that tight. And now we're gonna do three delicas. And 
and we'll sew through that next 15 0 down there like we normally would. And then we'll step up by sewing through that 15 0 that's sticking out a little higher. Once again, pull tight. And you can see that you have something that should look like this. You're going to have three delicates sticking up on one side and the opposite side will have the same. And then you'll have four delicates sticking up on the left and right. And as you pull it tight, you see it becomes more of that rectangular shape. And then this time we're going to cinch it up even more. So we're going to continue sewing. I'm coming out of that 15 0 that's sticking up. I'm going to just sew directly through that next delica. Then I'll pick up a 15 -0 and sew through the next. And we're just gonna be working with our 15 0s in this round. So that's the third 15 -0. Then I'm gonna sew directly through the Delica, 15 -0 and Delica. Pull that tight. And now we have two 15 O's to add in at this point. Before we get to the next corner. And when we do, we can sew directly through the Delica 15 O and Delica at the next corner. And then pull tight. And we'll just repeat what we just did, picking up a sequence of three 15 O's. Still working in peyote stitch. Get to the corner and you can sew directly through the three beads and pull tight. And now we're at the point where we're adding in our final two 15 O's. And then sew directly through the three beads you normally would. And once again, pull tight. So that's really taking shape. As you can see, it is going to hold our crystal in place and start to curve around nicely towards the back of the bezel. What we need to do now is just reinforce this section because this is what is going to be at the very front of the crystal. We want it to be very strong and hold its shape. So I'm just going like two beads at a time through the bezel and going through the thread path just like we did before and just tightening this up a little bit more and I'll go a little bit past where we started but I'll just be pulling this tight after every few beads that I go through And then once we've gone past where we started, we can follow the thread path toward the back of our piece and come out of one of the delicas that's sticking out on the other side. Then start to shape that up a little bit again. Make sure it's in the rectangular shape where you have two 15 0s sticking out on the top and bottom and three on the left and the right. Then you can flip your piece over again and insert your crystal face down and it should fit just like that of course it's still going to be loose because we haven't tightened up the back yet but it should follow the exact shape of that crystal stone and now with my needle coming out of the delica right here that's sticking out we're going to do one full round of peyote stitch just using the 15 o's and so as usual, picking up a bead, going through the Delica that's sticking out and not doing anything special yet on the corners, but just adding in one bead in peyote stitch all the way around in each of those sections.
then go through the next delica that you normally would and step up through the next 15 o that you get to. And pull this tight around the back of the stone. It should start to hug the back. And now we're gonna add another round of 15 O's in peyote, but we're gonna do something different at the corners. So once you get to the two 15 O's, this is the front of the piece over here, that are on the corners of the front, they're going to match up with two of the seed beads on the back, and that's where you'll do something different. We have one bead to go till we get there, so I'm gonna pick that up, then we'll sew through the next bead. But since this is at a corner, I'm not gonna pick up another 15 I'm just gonna sew directly through the next one that's on the bezel. And pull tight. Then we'll be picking up one, two, three more before we do that again. So picking up a 15 going through the next. There's our second one up there. And our third one, which starts us out at another corner. And I'm just gonna go directly through the next two beads. And pull tight. Now we're on this side and we'll be picking up four seed beads before we get to our next corner. And I've got my fourth bead, and I'm going to sew directly through the next two 15 O's. So just keep doing that until you get to the point where you started. Pull everything tight and then step up through that first bead of the round that you just added. And now we're going to add one more round of peyote using the 15 O's back here. But when we get to the corners, we're going to do something different again. And we're just going to add one seed bead in between each of these two 15 O's that are sticking up at the corner. So I happen to be coming out of this one right here, right before the next one, and we wanna put one in between in that corner. So we'll pick one up and sew through the next bead. Pull that tight as usual. Pick up our next 15 o, and we've got a couple to do before we get to the next corner. Now at this corner again, just pick up one 15 o and sew directly through the next bead that's sticking up. And continue on. Picking up a bead, going through the next one that's sticking out on this corner. And we're at our last corner, going directly through there.
and continuing back to where we started. And I have one more bead to go. All right, so the back of your bezel should look something like this. And then on the front, it should look something like this. And it should be nice and tight and be holding that stone in place. So it definitely doesn't feel like it can fall out or anything. And what I like to do back here before we continue on is just sew through that round of beads again that we just added in, just to tighten that up and reinforce the back, kind of like we did the front. So I'm going to do that off camera and then I'll be right back so we can continue with our next step. All right, so once you're happy with that, we want to just weave back through this bezel and I'll show you where you want to be coming out for us to continue on. You just want to make sure you're following your thread path so you don't see your thread at all. And I want to be coming out of one of these Delica beads at the back. If I flip this over right side up, you can see I'm coming out of the Delica that's all the way on the row closest to the back right here. And it's just before we get to that first corner seed bead, if you look at the front of your piece. And that's where we're gonna be adding in an extra Delica. We're gonna skip the next Delica that's kind of offset at the corner, go through the next one. You can see that that's sticking out a little bit. Pick up another Delica, skip the next Delica that's offset and sew through the next one. And now you see we have two beads that are sticking out on that corner and we need two sticking out on the opposite corner so they'll be symmetrical with what we just did. So we need to follow our thread path going through some of these beads to get to that other corner or right before it. So we want to be coming out right here, directly before the 15-0 on this corner, and through one of these Delicas at the very back. Pick up another Delica, skip the next one that's offset, and sew through the next. Then pick up one more, skip the next Delica, and go through the next. And now we have our four beads that are sticking out, two on each corner, just like that so that they match. And if you count them, there should be five Delicas in between, one, two, three, four, five, before you get to your next bead that's sticking out, just to make sure you have that position correctly. And then you wanna turn your thread around. So we need to go through a few more beads. I'll just go through this 15-0 I get to next in the bezel. And then I'll go back through these two Delica beads diagonally and then up through that last bead that we just added that's sticking out. So we want to be coming up out of that one to continue on. And at this point, we're going to be picking up three 15 O's. Then we'll sew through the next Delica that's sticking out. Then we'll pick up a three millimeter round and three delicas and another three millimeter round. Then sew through your next delica that's sticking out and pick up three more 15 O's to match your other side and sew through that fourth delica that's sticking out. So you have something like this. And now we need to turn around again. So we're gonna go through a few more beads down here. And make sure you go through them carefully. You don't wanna crack any beads. We'll go through that 15-0. And we want to ultimately turn around again. We'll go diagonally up through those two Delica beads. 
and up through that one that's sticking out on this side. I'm going to continue on just by going through the next 15 0. Now you'll skip that center 15 0, go through the third 15 0, and then the next Delica. That's going to get that center one to poke out a little bit. Then go up through the three millimeter and go through the next two Delica beads. Now pick up three of your Delica beads and sew back through that same Delica that you're coming out of. And then go through those again just to reinforce that area. And come out of that center Delica just like that. Now you'll pick up one 15 0, one 3 millimeter, and one 15 0. And look for the Delica that is sitting in the center row at the top here. So you can see there's two seed beads that are central on the top. You have one Delica here. You don't want to go through that one. Go through the one in the second row from the front. Just like that. Then I'm going to sew up through that same 15 0 and 3 millimeter. Pull this tight. I'm going to pick up another 15 0 and then sew through the other side of that Delica. And now we have something like that. And I'm going to sew around that section again to reinforce it. I'm going to go down through that first 15 0. 3 millimeter and 15 0. Go around that Delica bead again, or through it rather. Then up through the seed bead, the 3 millimeter, and the next seed bead. And then head back through that Delica bead back there. And down through the next Delica, 3 millimeter and Delica, as well as the first seed bead in that group of three. And just like you did on the other side, you're going to skip the center one, sew through that last seed bead and the next Delica. And pull tight. So that should be what you have right now, and that is going to be the top of our earring. And now we need to make our way toward the bottom of the earring to finish that section off. So we're going to follow our thread path through the beads, just carefully sewing through one or two at a time until we get to the place we want to be for our next step. which happens to be right at this location, just past the corner, 15 O's. And if I turn this around, this is exactly where I want to be coming out. So lining up actually with that corner, 15 O, and it is this Delica right here at the back, not the row that's sticking out the most toward the back, but this little offset bead right here, we're going to be adding a Delica in there. So we're going to skip the next one that is offset, go through the next, and then sew through a couple more beads. We want to be coming out this one now. We'll have three beads in between as a space. Pick up another Delica, skip the next one, and sew down through the next. So you have these two beads here that are sticking up on either side of the opposite end of the bezel. And like we did before, we want to turn around in our beadwork and be coming up out of that last Delica that we just added. Okay. 
just like that. That's what we want to have so that we can continue with our next step, which is then to pick up a three millimeter, a 15-0, a three millimeter, a 15-0, and one more three millimeter. Then we'll sew down through that next Delica that's sticking out. So we have something like this. And again, just go around some of these beads so you can turn around and go back up and go up through that three millimeter that you get to next. And at this point, pick up seven 15 O's. and go down just through the three millimeter that's on the other side, skipping over those three beads in between. Also go through the Delica that's sticking up, and then follow your thread path toward the front center of the bezel. I'm gonna go through this one first, and then Turn around through that 15 0. We'll go through that Delica and then through the next one. And then through this one that's in the center, which is where we want to be coming out for the next step. And here we're going to pick up two 15 0s, a Delica and one 15 -0. And then we're gonna sew through, going through the opposite side, the seed bead and three millimeter. And then the next seed bead. Then we'll pick up a seed bead, cross through the Delica that you had just added, pull tight. Pick up two of your seed beads and sew back through that Delica that is centered on the bezel. And pull. And that's what you should have. And as usual, I want to sew around that section again to reinforce it. But we are almost done. So I'm just going to go back up through those seed beads there and the Delica. Go up through that seed bead. Through my three millimeter and down this way one more time. And then we just need to get to that top section of 15 O's. So follow your beads or your thread path to exit out of the three millimeter there at the top. And just to get that center one to stick out, we'll go up through the first three. Skip the fourth one. And then sew through the next three. And continue sewing down through your beads. And that gets that one to stick out there at the bottom, forming that little peak down there. And then at this time, you'll just be weaving in your excess working thread. And you can probably just weave back and forth going in different directions several times through the beads and the bezel. And don't even need to really make any knots. It should be secure just by doing that. And then we can trim off the excess. So that concludes our beadwork. And what we can do now is add on our finding. And in the examples, I just took one of these smaller, like four or five millimeter jump rings. We'll twist that open and then just 
feed it through that top seed bead, gently of course. And then add our earring finding and twist that closed. And then you can just turn that so that the opening is underneath the bead. Not that it'll necessarily stay like that, but one can hope. And that is all there is to it. That is the finished earring that is ready to wear. So that concludes this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and I'm so glad you were here to join me. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you'll subscribe for much more to come if you haven't already. Be sure to give the video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and feel free to share the video wherever you like. As a reminder, the links to everything will be listed right down below the video as well as quantities that you'll need. And you can find everything at Eureka Crystal Beads in most of these colors and a lot more. Feel free to leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you decide to give these a try and how it went or anything else you'd like to say. I'll be back again real soon. And until next time, I hope you have a fabulous rest of your day. And as always, happy beading. Mm -hmm.